if we make contact with them, I think in this century, we'll probably pick up signals, signals from an extraterrestrial civilization. Ever since humans have been able to look up at the stars, we've been wondering if we're alone in the vast universe. We've studied the planets in our solar system, and it seemed like we were the only ones around. But then something strange happened when we encountered Oumuamua, a mysterious object from far away. And guess what? Oumuamua is back. It's causing some really weird things to happen, and Michio Kaku just told the world about it. Join us as we uncover the truth behind Oumuamua's return and the implications it holds for Earth's future. It's not what you think. The mystery of the space vagabond. So there's this thing called 1I2017U1, or as we like to call it, Oumuamua. It's definitely not from around here, zooming through space at a mind-boggling speed of 196,000 miles per hour. The comets and asteroids within our solar system can't even keep up with that. They usually move at a slower pace of around 12 miles per second. Oumuamua is like some interstellar wanderer, a true interstellar vagabond. Here's the thing. We're not exactly sure where Oumuamua came from. It just casually strolled into our solar system from the general direction of the constellation Lyra. But honestly, it's impossible to trace its exact origin. You see, thousands of years ago, when Oumuamua first decided to embark on its journey away from its home planetary system, the stars were hanging out in a completely different arrangement. So, yeah, pinpointing its original whereabouts is a real head-scratcher. Who knows, maybe this space traveler has been cruising through the galaxy for billions of years. It all started in October 2017 at the Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii. They spotted this tiny, bright speck in the vastness of space. Some say it looked like a long, slender cigar, while others think it resembled a spaceship straight out of a sci-fi flick. By the time they spotted it, though, it had already zoomed past our sun, executed a slick hairpin turn, and zoomed off in a different direction. So they named this cosmic oddity Oumuamua, and it means a messenger from afar arriving first in Hawaiian. Pretty fitting, considering its otherworldly origins. The astronomer who first spotted it, Robert Warrick from the University of Hawaii, knew right away that he had stumbled upon something totally new to physics. This wasn't your run-of-the-mill comet or asteroid, it was an interstellar visitor from a distant, unidentified solar system, the very first of its kind ever discovered. Now here's where it gets really intriguing. Oumuamua had a couple of things that had scientists scratching their heads. First, it had this mysterious acceleration away from the sun, which didn't quite fit with what they thought it was made of. And second, its shape was downright peculiar. Some estimates suggested it was about 10 times longer than it was wide. To put that into perspective, the most elongated objects we knew of before Oumuamua were only three times longer than their width. Now here's the interesting part. We still don't know exactly what Oumuamua looks like. All we've managed to catch through telescopes is a tiny speck of light. I mean, it's super far away and less than half a mile in length. But hey, based on its funky rotation, scientists think it's shaped like a long cigar. Sadly, we've lost sight of it. So we're relying on artists' concepts to give us a glimpse of what it could possibly look like. While scientists were trying to figure out what this space stranger looked like, one other weird thing happened to Oumuamua. It suddenly got a little boost in speed, and it caught us off guard. Thanks to some quick observations, we noticed that it had an unexpected acceleration, which slightly changed its trajectory from what we initially predicted. Apparently, it's all because of these jets of gaseous material being expelled from its surface. According to Davide Farnocchia from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, this kind of thing happens with many comets in our own solar system. Naturally, all this sparked wild speculation in scientific circles and made waves in the media. People wondered if Oumuamua could be a solid block of hydrogen or even a gigantic cosmic dust bunny like the ones hiding under our sofas. And then, of course, there was the bold suggestion from the esteemed Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb, who proposed that it might actually be an artificial construction created by intelligent extraterrestrial beings. Talk about thinking outside the box. Now here's the thing. Scientists have had a hunch for ages that our solar system might be a popular pit stop for these intergalactic travelers. 
Some of them have been meandering through the stars for billions of years. But despite all the fancy telescopes scanning the skies, from the snow-covered South Pole to the sun-soaked Atacama Large Millimeter Array in the Chilean Andes, none of these visitors had ever been caught in the act. Until now, that is. Because not long after Oumuamua showed up, guess what? They found another one. It was on August 30th, 2019, when an engineer named Gennady Borisov, who's also an amateur astronomer, spotted this object moving in the pre-dawn sky from his own observatory in Crimea. And get this, he made his own telescope. Anyway, right from the start, he knew it was something special, because it was going in a totally different direction than those comets in the asteroid belt near the solar system. They named it 2i Borisov to honor the guy who discovered it, and they think it's like a rogue comet, not tied to any star. So where the heck did these visitors come from, huh? And what can they teach us about alien solar systems? And, you know, how often are we going to see them? To figure it out, it's helpful to know what they're actually made of. So Oumuamua hasn't been definitively called a comet or an asteroid yet, and it might actually be something else entirely. But most scientists have always thought that these interstellar objects would be comets. Well, as more data rolled in, more weird stuff started popping up that led scientists to start doubting everything they knew. There were these theories floating around about Oumuamua, the space wanderer. You might want to brace yourself because, as it turns out, aliens could be part of the equation. Yes, we know it sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but let's dive in with an open mind. Avi Loeb, a rock star professor of science and astrophysics at Harvard University, is at the forefront of these theories. In 2018, he co-authored a study that shook the scientific community. They seriously considered the possibility that Oumuamua, the mysterious space object, could be of artificial origin. Yes, you heard that right. Alien tech. Mind-blowing, right? But wait, it gets even wilder. In their study, they also dropped the bombshell that Oumuamua might be an intentional probe sent to our cosmic neighborhood by an advanced alien civilization. Can you imagine that? We might have an actual interstellar visitor snooping around, sent by beings from another world. It sounds like something straight out of the X-Files. Now, ever since scientists have been monitoring this mysterious object, they have secretly wished to fly a probe out there and figure out what makes this thing tick. That seemed impossible for a while because Oumuamua was moving way too fast for any man-made object to catch up to it. To our great surprise, there's now some buzz about a proposed 2028 mission to the Space Wanderer. But Loeb has reservations. He thinks it's tricky because of the uncertainty surrounding Oumuamua's path and current position. Oumuamua's path is about as predictable as a squirrel in a bumper car, and finding it is almost as impossible as finding matching socks in the laundry. Plus, Oumuamua is fainter than a distant star at its current distance from the sun, so finding it would require a spacecraft equipped with a giant telescope. Instead, Loeb suggests we hold our horses and wait for another Oumuamua-like object to swing by our solar system. That's where the Galileo project, led by Loeb, comes into play, ready to jump at the next cosmic opportunity. But let's dig deeper into Oumuamua itself. It's a cosmic tumbler rotating on multiple axes. Its shape is a mystery wrapped in an enigma due to its complex rotation, and when it comes to its composition, we're still scratching our heads. Now, there are a few things we know about Oumuamua. As we mentioned earlier, it's tumbling, rotating on more than one axis, which makes it tricky to determine its exact shape. Here's an interesting fact. Scientists have actually been expecting an interstellar object like Oumuamua for quite some time. They knew that eventually, these objects would enter our solar system, so its visit reinforces our understanding of how planetary systems form. Now, what's Umua Oumuamuamua up to these days? Well, after January 2018, it vanished from our telescopes, even the space-based ones. But researchers are still analyzing the data collected during the International Observing Campaign to uncover more secrets about this extraordinary interstellar visitor. And it seems its return might be just around the corner. What could this possibly mean for civilization? We'll give you a hint. It could be a potential disaster. Stick around to find out the grave implications of an event like this. In fact, we might not be alone in this cosmic adventure. In addition to Oumuamua's return, there's a good chance we'll see another one of these interstellar objects in the future. 
Oumuamua is like a rare Pokemon because it is the first one we've observed, so right now drawing definitive conclusions is a bit tough. But hey, observations hint that other star systems might regularly fling similar comet-like objects our way. So, keep your eyes on the sky because we could have more interstellar vagabonds wandering among the stars. And as Karen Meech, an astronomer at the University of Hawaii's Institute of Astronomy puts it, I can hardly wait for the next interstellar object. Why Oumuamua is the strangest space object. So scientists were like, okay, maybe Oumuamua is just a rocky asteroid, nothing fancy. But then they got more observations and things got really interesting. Alan Jackson, an astronomer from Arizona State University, noticed that it was accelerating away from the sun. And everyone quickly realized that's not normal behavior. Usually, comets speed up when they're heading back from a close encounter with the sun because their tails give them a boost, like a rocket engine. But Oumuamua didn't have a visible tail, so what was pushing it? It got Loeb thinking. Besides the sun's gravity, something else had to be pushing it away. He estimated that about a tenth of its mass had to evaporate to explain the extra push. Remember when we said that Oumuamua might be a huge block of frozen hydrogen? Like an iceberg in space? That theory would explain the invisible tail, but not everyone bought it. Loeb and his buddies argued that hydrogen ice wouldn't stay cold enough for that long to form such a massive object like Oumuamua. Plus, with its freezing point being just a smidge above the average temperature of the universe, it's hard to believe it survived the hundreds of millions of years it took to get here from its supposed origin. It would have been fried by starlight. Amidst all the confusion, the idea of Oumuamua being crafted by some intelligent alien civilization started sounding less crazy. The folks at the SETI Institute even aimed a telescope at it, hoping to catch any possible radio signals. Who knows, right? There was no harm in trying. According to Loeb, if we consider the alien tech theory, that mysterious push Oumuamua got from the sun was probably due to sunlight reflecting off its surface. He imagines it to be like a thin, flat, reflective sail, just like how wind propels a sailboat. The object was super shiny for its size, but let's face it, sails aren't something nature makes. That's why he suggested in a Scientific American article and later in a scientific paper, which is now a book, that Oumuamua could be of artificial origin. In the book, Loeb brings up another object, 2020 SO, which also got a mysterious boost from the sun in September 2020. Turns out, it was a rocket booster from a failed mission back in 1966 called Surveyor 2. It was meant to land on the moon, but it lost contact and has been floating around in space for decades. Just like Loeb's alien light sail idea, this booster had a flat, reflective surface that could repel light and push it forward. Loeb also got wind that something similar might have crashed into the Pacific Ocean. He got all excited and went on a hunt for it. And guess what? He claims he actually found bits and pieces of this mysterious space thing. They call it IM-1. At first, they didn't have enough info to confirm if it was really from outer space, but then the U.S. Department of Defense released some classified data from their nuclear launch detection network, and it turns out this thing was going faster than the speed needed to escape the sun's gravitational pull. That was enough to convince Loeb to gather $1.5 million and start dredging the Pacific Ocean floor using huge magnets. So, after his crazy adventure, Loeb pops up with a bunch of small round objects that he swears he found along the projected path of IM-1. At first, the magnets were only pulling up piles of volcanic ash. But then, they used this super tiny mesh filter thingy and BAM! They found these little spheres! Now, the team is just starting to analyze the stuff they found. He says the spheres they found at the crash site have a different makeup compared to the ones from other places. Apparently, they're made up of 84% iron, 8% silicon, 4% magnesium, and 2% titanium. It could be some kind of asteroid made mostly of iron and magnesium silicates. Metallic asteroids usually have a lot of nickel, but they didn't find any in these samples. And the scientists think these fragments might be even older than the whole freaking solar system. Oumuamua. Alien ship or dud? Clearly, something mysterious was in the picture. In 2021, Alan Jackson, the astronomer and planetary scientist at Arizona State University, and his buddy Stephen Desch came up with this explanation that seems to make sense. They went through a process of elimination, ruling out stuff one by one. 
They knew for sure that Oumuamua couldn't have had carbon monoxide, water, or carbon dioxide, because those would have been spotted by astronomers, no doubt. Desch later said they had to think outside the box. Hydrogen was a no-go too, because the universe is just too darn hot for that. But guess what? They stumbled upon the idea that nitrogen ice could be the culprit. Turns out it's been observed on Pluto. So they did some calculations and compared the shininess of Oumuamua's surface to the reflectivity of nitrogen ice, and voila! It was a match made in space. According to their theory, Oumuamua is probably a chunk of nitrogen ice that broke off from a Pluto-like exoplanet near a young star, like half a billion years ago. Back in the day when Neptune was cruising through that area, it kicked out a bunch of stuff and this little piece got flung into deep space. So it's been floating around out there in the cold emptiness all this time. You know what's crazy? It must have reached the farthest outskirts of the solar system ages ago, but it took forever to travel to the warmer, central region where we first spotted it. Along the way, it got squished into a pancake shape, and its acceleration, well, that's because the nitrogen was evaporating and leaving an invisible tail that pushed it forward. Sneaky, huh? Nitrogen gas is a tricky thing to detect, like it's playing hide-and-seek with us. This seemed like a neat little theory to explain everything away, but not everyone was happy with this suggestion. Loeb had some serious doubts. He's skeptical about where Oumuamua actually came from. Loeb's team crunched some numbers, and they're saying that the place Oumuamua originated from probably didn't have a surface area large enough for us to stumble upon a fragment like this. They did some calculations, and it turns out the stars in our galaxy would need to be a hundred times more massive than they currently are to explain this nitrogen iceberg that chipped off. His explanation also said the surface layer of Pluto is just a tiny fraction of its overall size. It just doesn't add up. But here's the thing. If Loeb's theory pans out, Oumuamua could be giving us an extraordinary glimpse into the mysteries of alien solar systems. Right now, our ability to directly observe planets that orbit other stars is limited. We have to rely on indirect methods like observing their silhouettes as they pass in front of their stars or detecting the way their gravity bends light. It's mind-boggling, really, all because of the immense distances involved. Like, if we wanted to travel to the closest star, Proxima Centauri, which is about 4.2 light-years away, it would take us thousands of years with our current technology. Can you even fathom that? Even if we launched a spacecraft like Voyager, which is already venturing into deep space beyond our solar system, it wouldn't reach there until the year 75100. It's mind-blowing, isn't it? You see, Oumuamua was still pretty sizable when it entered our solar system. That suggests it might be a pristine piece from its original parent planet, preserved in the icy vacuum of space for over half a billion years. During all that time, it probably never came close to another star until it stumbled upon our own. It likely traveled through dozens of solar systems within a fraction of a light year, but it wouldn't have survived another encounter with a star like ours. Oumuamua's composition as an icy nitrogen iceberg hints at the similarity between other solar systems and our own. It's like a little piece of reassurance that amidst the vastness of the universe, we can still find something familiar out there. Are there big-eyed strangers waiting for us somewhere in the universe? Do you think we'll ever see them in our lifetime? Thanks for watching another episode of Beyond Discovery. See you in the next one.